Welcome to Silicon Valley Successes. We interview experts and entrepreneurs to give the world access to the knowledge and experience that is here in Silicon Valley. Our mission is to create opportunities for those who seek them and help you to become the next Silicon Valley success. Welcome to Silicon Valley Successes, where we interview the experts here in Silicon Valley and package their knowledge into a resource library where anyone in the world can access. So today on our show, we have Don Mayer, who's with the Mountain View Chamber of Commerce. Don, please introduce yourself. Okay. Well, thanks, Sean. Great to be here today. And I'm Don Mayer, and I am the Chief Evangelist and VP of Partnerships for the Mountain View Chamber of Commerce. Now, for people that <clears throat> may be from an area that doesn't have a Chamber of Commerce or does not know about what a Chamber of Commerce is, could you give a little bit of detail into what a Chamber of Commerce does and is? Sure, yeah, absolutely. So the Chamber of Commerce functions a little bit differently in each community because we kind of customize the uh, membership. It's mm. a member organization uh, mm. that serves businesses within the community. Okay. And we're a little bit of a catalyst, a convener, and uh, we foster collaboration within the community and all over the world, really. So, so these companies that are members of the chamber, are they only established corporations? Are they startups? Are they, or are they anyone? They're really anyone. They can be anywhere in the world. They can be right here in Mountain View. If their interest okay. is in connecting to folks, to businesses here in Mountain View, that's something that we can help them with. So, so I would I, say about, we have about 760 different member companies oh, that wow. um, are actively involved in the chamber. So going back, you said anywhere in the world. Anywhere so in the world. So I'm a startup from New York um, or even maybe uh, Beijing, and I wanted access to the companies here in Mountain View, I could join the Chamber of Commerce. You could. Yeah, absolutely. So it's very easy to do. It's something that you can do online. Mm. Uh, we have a website, which is chambermv.org. And you can get, anybody can get information from anywhere in the world on what it is that we're working on, what we're doing, who our members are, and how they, they can get active in the Chamber. So when you're saying who the, act, who the members are, yeah. so if I became a member, I would be put on that list. So I'm an early stage company, just right. me and my co-founder. I wanted to become a member. I could join. I would get on that list. What are some of the benefits I, I would get with that? Um, the, you know, the primary benefit is visibility, uh, marketability, and then connectivity. So your ability to connect to other businesses in and around Mountain View, really businesses of all size, from the smallest to the largest. About 80% of our members are mid-sized companies. Hmm. And then we have several of the larger employers here in Mountain View that are very active as well in the chamber. So benefits would be, um, you know, your ability to connect with other members hmm. and also be aware of what's happening in Mountain View. And okay. that creates a certain relevance when you're looking to pursue a conversation with somebody. It's hmm. very helpful to understand the community that, they're, community that they are in and that they serve. And that's where the chamber can be extremely beneficial. Okay, so yeah. a little bit uh, for the people at home. The organization I'm with, we're actually members of the Mountain View Chamber of Commerce. Well, thank you for that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we've had some amazing results because of that. Uh, one example was the Technology Street Fair. Yeah. Now, instead of me explaining, could you go into detail about the Technology Street Fair, and then I'll tell some little stories about the great results we had by partaking. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So we do a uh, collaborative event with the city of Mountain View, and it's called our Technology Showcase. Right now, it happens to be an annual event, and the intent of the event is that it's free for exhibitors, mm. it's free for attendees, and it's about bringing out those tech companies that we know are here in Mountain View, they've started here or they exist here now, and they've come up with these incredible ideas that we know are happening, and they get to bring that out for the community to see. So we do a one-day uh, little festival out in front of um, City Hall. Everybody brings out the things they've been working on. And um, the community and business community is invited to come walk through and really interact with all of that technology and learn more about what's happening and how mm. it's happening. Yeah, it's really exciting. Yeah. So some of the companies that I know <clears throat> that were at the technology showcase, yeah. some of the things that they mentioned to me was the amount of publicity and media they got from it. Right. Could you talk a little bit about that? 
Yeah, we're in just a great situation where we get a lot of media visibility. So the TV, sh you know, TV channels are all here covering it. There's a lot of interviews and excitement around the technology that's being showcased. And, you know, it's everybody from our from small companies doing 3D printing to um, the robotics team for high school to, you know, Google and, and LinkedIn and Intuit and, you know, some of the other larger employers in the area. And everybody's out with, you know, to demonstrate what they're working on. So we had a lot of virtual reality, augmented reality, robots, um, you know, education tech tools, uh, you name it. It was it was there for you know for everybody to come out and see. What was your experience? So so what was very interesting for me was a couple of the companies that that I knew that were at that event were just launching their okay. product and were actually using that that event to try to do some product market testing. Okay. Where they had their booth, they had people coming by testing out their product, getting feedback. So in one afternoon, they had fifty, a hundred people testing their product, giving them feedback so that they could take and then do changes. Also some of the things that they told me was, was great was the media exposure for them. They were able to use that media for then later introducing their companies to other people, keeping that, those little sound bites, keeping those little testimonials. So a lot came from it and many of them have asked me you know, when's the next event that the chamber is hosting mm -hmm. and how they can actually get more involved with the Mountain View Chamber. And we use a lot of those sound bites too throughout the entire year, both mm -hmm. in our website, our social media, just to kind of showcase what's happening in Mountain View. And it's just excellent for those companies that participate. Yeah. What's one crazy thing that most people don't talk about is for startups, being members of the local Chamber of Commerce, the access you have to the local business community. Right. And what I mean by that is some of the companies that, that we work with, they have their business development team. They have their sales people. They want access to these big corporations for if their product's B2B or the local community B2C or whoever. Mm -hmm. And they don't have those connections. Right. Where if they join the local mem uh, chamber, they can get warm introductions or maybe even meet people from those corporations at some of their chamber events. Right. Could you talk about some of the events a, a chamber of commerce might have? Sure, sure. Um, so we do a lot of collaboration. So not only do we have our own events, we have events with our business partners to showcase their facilities, their technology, and we do a lot of collaboration with other towns and chambers in other towns. So mm. all throughout this area between San Francisco and San Jose, we're working with those chambers and doing collaborative events. So there's a lot of opportunity, not just in the programs and events that we offer, but with our partners to be able to come out and connect with the people that you want to. So um, the types of things that we do here in Mountain View that are a little bit um, uh, customized to our community is that we're really involved in um, like the conversation around disability and technology which is a really big conversation and that's something that's a very important to all of our companies. All of our local companies right now is they're testing out new keyboards, new um, lenses, no, new computer monitors, things that are, are crafted specifically for the, um, uh, the disability community. Mm. And so that's something that we work closely with. We're putting together a series now that's customized to them. Um, also, uh, resiliency huh. is a really big conversation among business here in the area. What to do? in the case of an actual disaster. Those are the types of things that we have events around. Uh, interesting. Um, yeah, so it's so many different spaces that we're in that it becomes a bit of a challenge to say this is what we do. But what we do are 150 different programs and events throughout the year Wow. with all different areas of focus that bring everyone together. And so you, can, you don't have to spend time coming to something that may not feel like it's relevant to your personal interest or your business interest. Oh, you right. can really customize what you're, how you're willing to spend your time based on the programming that we have and what's relevant to who you'd like to meet and connect with. That's interesting. Yeah. So on SiliconValleySuccesses.com, we're going to have to post some of the information that the Chamber is doing yeah. so that anyone at home or anyone watching this can stay up to date with some of the activities here and you know have some ideas of maybe how they can participate. Sure. So what other parts of the chamber. So, for example, I heard of this thing called Leadership Mound View. Can you talk about what that is? Because sure. that seemed very fascinating to me. Yeah. So Leadership Mountain View is a 10-month program um, that you can apply for as a community member. And that um, it's one day a month. Mm -hmm. And it's focused around civic leadership. 
and understanding kind of the behind the curtain view of the city of Mountain View and how decisions get made and who who's really kind of leading the town and what's happening. So you get to see, you know, how education and their decisions are decided. You get to tour schools and understand more about what it's like to live here, what it's like to serve here, what it's like to lead here. Mm. And um, not only are, do you become very close to your classmates, and there's generally between 30 and 35 in any class, so the classes oh, are wow. small, intimate, and a really great chance to connect. Um, but there's, there are about seven to 750 alum in the program. Okay. And those folks are all leaders. You know, many of them are leaders in the community. So every one of our mayors yeah. has been through Leadership Mountain View. Really? Yeah. So by going through Leadership Mountain View, uh, <clears throat> you're able to meet the local community. Mm -hmm. You're able to meet the local government. Right. At the council level, the vice mayor, the mayor, every level, and ask them questions possibly and get feedback on either day-to-day -day life or even your business if you have questions for them, if, you have, if they have time. Is that true? Yep, that's exactly right. Oh, wow. I should sign you up today. You should. <laughs> 2019, best class ever. <laughs> <laughs> but, but going back, I'm still fascinated about Mountain View Chamber of Commerce and just Chamber of Commerce in general. Right. The, what really fascinates me is we'll have delegations from China or other com countries come here. Right. And they have no clue what this body of businesses really is and does. Yeah. And then startups, young companies, they have no idea either. But at the same time, there's so many resources that are here in this group mm -hmm. that if they did know and they're able to partner or join or get involved, it can open up so many doors for them. Right. Have you seen that happen to any company that as they've joined, they've understood the resources, the introductions to potential customers, uh, potential resources or the local community get involved in their projects. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have yes, I have seen that happen. We work mm -hmm. with a lot of um, a lot of incubators in the mm -hmm. area, and so we have the opportunity to interact with a lot of the startups and find out what the resources are that they need. Mm -hmm. I think that you know what we find with startups is that they're so very focused on their craft. Okay. And all the other business resources that they need as as they build out are available, but they have to know that the Chambers has those resources available to them. Mm. And so whether that's from building a business plan to creating your website, and I, it's a very you know, technologically mm. advanced community, so a lot of people are, are pretty good with that, <laughs> but not everybody is. Mm. So, um, or it's uh, the network for, of vendors that you need. As you're adding employees, what, how do you learn about your your HR uh, benefits and the things that you need for your employees. So all the various stages, we have tools and resources available. Hmm. And it's always a little, it's from mentoring to access to capital, to introductions to company that you want to meet, uh. to helping with marketing, and also a lot of visibility um, as a member. Uh, once you're engaged with us and you belong to the Chamber of Commerce, we have a lot of tools that we've built in so okay. that you can market your company. You actually have a landing page on our website. Really? You're listed in our directory. And we get a lot of inquiries, um, like thousands and thousands of, of inquiries on our website every month, people looking for businesses to do, do business with, okay. to partner with, strategic partners, you name it. So there's a lot of activity. I, I can, there's no one hap, one absolute outcome for anybody, so I'm mm -hmm. always hesitant to say. But it is about getting involved, and once you do, the connections that you can make really can move the needle on your business. Oh, so so that reminds me of one company I remember. Do you did you ever hear of a company, ADU Builder? Yes. It's a startup. Uh, they wanted to get their brand name out there, mm -hmm. and they they became members of the Chamber of Commerce, from my understanding. Yes. And they held an event, and at that event had. Uh, the former head of chamber, the Chamber of Commerce, the current mayor of Mountain View, and mm -hmm. some other key figures. And at that one event, I heard it was sold out. Sold out. It was. It was it a was full room. Full. And, it, and that was a startup that really had no connections, no email list, nothing. Joined the chamber. Mm -hmm. And then from one event, from my understanding, they had nine leads. And, and actually, I'm not sure if they're still going forward. And I heard uh, there there's some other other things going on. But... I just remember hearing, because of joining the chamber, mm -hmm. all these amazing things happened. Yeah, it's really true. It, it's really a door opener. Mm. And uh, so it's, it's the, um, we have a, a number of startups and a number of startup, re startup resources. Okay. And Could you go into I, more detail about some of those resources for the sure, startups? Sure, sure. So, um, for example, we, we work with a lot of local partners like 
the Small Business Development Center. Okay. And so they talk about them because okay. most people, I'm sure, have never even heard of the Small Business Development Center. So the what do they do exactly? <laughs> so, <laughs> and I'll stop you three more times. <laughs> so, the Small Business Development Center is a a resource that's actually a federal resource. Hmm. It's completely free, and um, there are generalists and specialists that are available. Okay. And again, it's one of those hairy audacious tools that are out there that are hard mm. to describe but they do everything from helping with mentoring creating mm. a business plan do they have a magazine or any online publication they, <laughs> they do as a matter of fact have okay. a resource guide mm. that lets you know what it is that you need who you need to connect with depending on what your what industry you're in okay and um, some of the tools that are available through their website and through uh, agents that they have working in all of the regions all the local regions here. So what happens is you contact uh, an SBDC agent and they come out, they learn a little bit more about your business, what you intend to do, okay. your goals, and then they set you up with a specialist. So if it's a technology resource that you need, they have a technology investor group that okay. we can connect you with. Um, they have uh, access to capital, both um, resource, both uh, seminars and actual uh, traditional and non-traditional funding available. Okay. Um, and they will see you all the way through the process from beginning to end, and that's absolutely free. Okay, so that's so. one resource that's mm -hmm. partnering with the Chamber. Right. And we're definitely on Silicon Valley Successes. We're going to have someone from SBDC here. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That will be fantastic. Tell me more, though, about the other resources, because, yeah. Sure. I mean, it runs the gamut. There's a lot of nonprofits that we have as, that we have partnerships with okay. that have a variety of tools. Mm. And um, I'm not even, I'm drawing a blank on what's really specific on, um, like the SCORE, for example. Oh, That's what's a group score? of mentors that you can come in, that will come in and meet with you individually, learn about your business and help give you some guidance as you're moving forward. Okay. So they are, so we, they come into our office and meet with people. Really? Twice a month, business owners twice a month and kind huh. of help get them started. So that's really a great first step when you're very young. Okay. And uh, building out your concept and not quite sure how to proceed. Huh. And so if you just have an idea, mm -hmm. are you able to meet with these mentors at the chamber? Yep, that's it. You come in with your concept. Okay. And they begin to help you figure out how to flesh that out and how to move it forward. Interesting. What if I've already opened up my, my business or started developing my app or, or platform? Can I then go to them there or is it too late? No, you can still consult with them at that point. It, and at any point you can, we're going to put you in touch with somebody who really understands what it is that you hope to accomplish. Okay. And um, so that's what we try to do is kind of guide you towards somebody who's going to have valuable information. Huh. We don't want the counselors to waste your, their time or you to waste your time okay. as you're exploring the ideas. And then um, um, there are like, there's so many nonprofits that are out there without going into the names of all of them. It mm -hmm. Once you come in and we understand what you need, there's some place that we can guide you for whatever the next step is in your business. So journey. if I were to join the chamber, yes. what does the onboarding process look like? So if I'm just a startup, mm -hmm. it's me and my co-founder, we come to you and say, listen, this is where we're at with our company. We want media exposure. We want access to potential partners. We want someone to check out our idea, but we don't know where to start. Right and I sit down with you, what would your advice be? Who would I talk to? Tell me about all these nonprofits resources. You already mentioned SCORE, you already mentioned SBDC, right. but it sounds like there's an abundance. There are, and it really depends on your business needs. Right. So I think that is what we do, is we customize what we do to everybody that joins. Right. So, and of course there's a spectrum of, of membership levels, so you can join right. at the very basic level, it's extremely affordable, right. and you're at least listed in our directory and you have access to our programs. Okay. Um, and we kind of build up from there depending on the marketing upside that you need. Okay. And depending on your goals and how customized the solution is for your mm. needs. So obviously it's gonna be a little bit more pricey to, to join the chamber if you need to um, some personal introductions and okay. to engage with folks. When, when you say personal introductions, mm -hmm. would that just be we're at an event and you go, hey Sean, there's Tim and walk away? Or what would you consider a personal introduction? Um, the same way that you do your introductions, <laughs> where, where when I meet you and I learn what your passions are, you I want to walk away. I just <laughs> walk away. <laughs> no, what, but when you meet people and you can connect them to somebody else that you realize, wow, that would be a great connection for them. We're mm. constantly doing that. That's really what every one of us are doing. We're a team of six, so we're oh. small. What are the roles of the team of six? I mean, is it just everyone doing the same thing or is 
I mean, tell nope. me about the structure of it. So the way that we are set up is we have a CEO. Okay. We have a, a fairly new CEO with us right now. His oh. name is Bruce, Hunt, Bruce Humphrey. And um, he leads the organization. And then I am, uh, work with Bruce and I manage membership and uh, help develop all of our, uh, our strategy okay. and oversee operations. So it's about uh, helping members engage with one another is my okay. priority. Huh. Tell me about this engagement. Is it? Are you talking about events, or are you talking more that introduction and then making sure there's follow up with that? Both. Both. So it's creating. What we try to do is create events that have relevance and bring the right people together, so that mm. they can meet one another. They're in the right room. Okay. And so that's what a lot of our programming is about. It's very specialized and intentional. Mm. Um, so that is something that I help lead. And then we have somebody who does events. Okay. That'd be Katrina. Hmm. Um, and we have Heidi who does social media for us. Okay. Uh, she oversees a site called ilovemv.org. Okay. And that is a great website to go to hmm. to discover what's happening in Mountain View. Things that you might like to know, both um, both business and pleasure. So, okay. Yeah. I don't know. Have you been to that website, I Love MV? Uh, I've heard about it. Yeah. I, I've checked it out. There, I, on occasion, I've heard there's pictures of very handsome entrepreneurs on, on there. Uh, sitting in rounded chairs. Oh my goodness, yeah. you must be on there somewhere, yeah, huh? So maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But 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 uh, that reminded me of another instance where we actually used the chamber and an experience where the electric bikes. We really yeah. what we really wanted one outside of our office, and we had no idea how to go about doing it. And we made a call or an email to you, I believe, and within two days we had six electric bikes out front of our facility. Have you used them? They, they're always used, Oh, always used by the members of our building. And in fact, people have actually come to me and gone, you know, where are the bikes today? Okay. Go, hold, on, hold on, let me, let me check do the an app. email. Let me check my app. But it was from warm introductions that you guys had provided to us. Right. Now, is there a limit to these introductions? Does someone overstep their bounds at any time? Um, yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> There's a limit to everything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't say no on that, but um, we are, we, we'll always help you get, figure out what the next steps are that are practical, okay. right? So if you're going to come in and say, hey, Don, I want to go right to the top of Google, let's be honest, that's yeah. probably not going to happen. Okay. Or you're going to have to pay a lot of money. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. We'll put the little <laughs> asterisks right there. <laughs> <laughs> but within reason, when you need, you know, whether it's customers that you're looking for, it's strategic partners that you're looking for. Um, I don't want to say investors because that's not something that we promise, but the oh. fact is, when you're out and about and doing the events that we offer, you have the chance to connect with everybody. And okay. It, you know. Now, if I have a problem, say, with, with getting a permit or that, can I seek people at the chamber for advice on how to go about fixing that? Or could an introduction be made to someone at the city level that might be the one to go to to solve this problem? Yeah. Or, I mean, my business, if I have problems at, at, at the city level, mm -hmm. through the chamber, is that a good resource? Really great resource. We do. We spend a lot of time helping our members uh, navigate the cha whatever they need to do with the city, uh -huh. because it can be complex. And if you don't know what you're doing, oftentimes you'll lead with the wrong questions or the wrong information, and that will slow that process down by weeks and months, which can be extremely expensive. Hmm. So a great first stop is the chamber, just to share with us what you're doing, what you'd like to accomplish and we can help with making introductions and directing you to the best place to start that journey. Okay, so yeah. let's go over everything that we've talked about so far. Okay. We've talked about the city ha or the chamber, how it's a great place to go to if you have any questions about possible permits or that with the city mm -hmm. for your business. The chamber is a great place to go to for potential introductions to mentors or nonprofit groups that can advise and coach uh, your company. It's a great place to go to for introductions to established corporations or, or other members of the chamber that you might want to do business with or just to get to meet to have a conversation with. It's a great place to go to for possible media uh, resources for your company to get exposure. Right. It's a great place to go to for events and that in the community to get to know the local community. And uh, let's see, is it a good place to go to if you want to meet potential groups from overseas. Are you connected with any friend, friendly cities or, or sister cities overseas at all? We are. We are. We often get delegates to the area that we host. 
and um, from all different areas, but we do have a sister city in Japan. Okay. And um, so we've hosted delegates from a, a couple of times, and we have a trip slated to go there next year. Okay. Yeah, so that would be kind of fun. Oh. Maybe you'd like to come on that. Not this year? No, no, it's not going to be this year. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's going to be next year. Okay. But we do uh, have partners overseas, and... Um, so we do send delegates and receive delegates often who would like to have exposure okay. to this market. So, so pushing it even further, mm -hmm. would it be okay to say if the chamber had a sister city or, or that a relationship in another country, right. through the chamber you can get an introduction? Yes, absolutely. Okay. And we have a lot of delegates that go, do China travel huh. as well that we're happy to introduce you to. Okay. Yeah. So, and we've done some programming around uh, starting a business and also manufacturing in China. Interesting. Yeah. Now, uh, another question for you. What advice would you give someone, one, one piece of advice for someone that isn't sure if they want to join the chamber or be involved with the chamber? Um, I think probably direct contact with us is a great, visiting our website, that's great as an overall to help understand who everybody is and what we do. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's best to connect with us, however that is, whether that's email or or telephone or video conference, whatever that it is, just to get a greater sense of whether or not it's mm. a fit for your business individually. Okay, and then what advice would you give a startup founder? Um, join the chamber. <laughs> <laughs> we have everything you need. <laughs> no, I would say that we understand completely how tight that everybody is for time and how oh, yeah. many things there are that you can focus on. Mm. And I would say that if the thought is, hey, I don't have the time to join the chamber or some other resource, mm. that it's worth revisiting and reevaluating that decision because there's a lot of information that's peripheral that comes to you that can be extremely valuable just mm. by being connected to the group that you are. We, mm. you know, we're sending out information constantly about what's happening in the community and what are the priorities and what's, you know, the things that you need to know as a business owner. So oh, I think great. there's value. That's great. Yeah. So want to thank everyone for watching us today on Silicon Valley Successes. And I want to mention our next guest. Coming up will be Doris Pickerson from Silicon Valley Speaks. She'll talk about uh, how to present to investors, how to present your idea. But before we go, Don, could you please talk a little bit to people about how they could contact you and maybe give a 30-second summary of the chamber. Go. Sure, absolutely. So if you are looking for connection in your business and all the tools that you need to get started, you can contact us. At, I'm available at dawn at chambermv.org. Our website is chambermv.org, and we're here in Mountain View. Just type in Mountain View Chamber. 50% of our guests to our website are organic. All right. Thank you from SiliconValleySuccesses.com. Thank you from all of us at Silicon Valley Successes. We hope you found the information presented today useful in your path to success. For further information on accessing the resources in Silicon Valley, you may visit us on the web at SiliconValleySuccesses.com, on Facebook, and YouTube. Thank you. And remember, we want to help you in your journey to become the next success.